Like, I haven't noticed any aphids coming on to me. I wonder if those kids know that they're gonna be doing drugs and shit when they're older. Well, I mean, I mean prescribed or unprescribed? E either or. Prescribed is fine. Like, I think that's... You look at these young women and you're like, yeah, you're gonna get drilled later in the future. <laughs> They can drill. They, they can be the ones to drill. Huh? Right. That's true. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's not always the woman getting in trouble. But like, I feel like sometimes the woman would take, you know, take the control. Right. So it's not always. I wonder what. Because I feel like there's some men that are, you know, maybe they're, they're into like submissive. Submissive. Hey, submissive. <laughs> yeah, so do, I mean, do, do you know anyone like that? <laughs> no. But you never know. You never know. I bet you William would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. He probably just, oh, he probably feed her grapes. He'd probably just feed her grapes. And he fans her. She, she doesn't even let him touch her. He just fans her. He just fucking worships her. Just beats off her. Oh yeah, how is William? I see, I, I've seen his like post. He has like a YouTube channel. Oh mm. really? Yeah. But I don't know what it's about. I think I remember the name. Really weird. Like Funky Bun... Bunion? Funky Bun Union? Are you subscribed to it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine how... Apparently like chimps, what they do when they fight each other is they try to crush each other's testicles to make sure that they can't reproduce. So it's like, just, <laughs> just imagine humans like when they fight each other, you just try to crush each other's testicles and when you do it's like, yes, I ended your bloodline, bitch. Like, just fucking, <laughs> that's it for you. Alright, I'm gonna pause the recording for now. So you finished Death Stranding, right? Oh, yeah. Did you like it? Uh, you know, to be honest, <laughs> not really. Well, it took a while to make the. The story happen. was was okay. Mm. I thought the story was good, but gameplay it was so bad. <laughs> it was horrible. Oh my god, it was long too. I think they Dreams did that on purpose. Nice. They made oh, it really that bad on purpose. Yeah. Like the worst part Most of the game was project. Is when they make you go like to this one chick and like find her, and then. She's like, oh yeah, take me all the way across the map, across these mountains, and you better carry me. I'm like, what? Why do I have to carry you? <laughs> so you have to like go across the entire map, and it took like half an hour. And then she's like, oh yeah, take me all the way back to where we started. Are there like boss so battles in between? Back. Uh, there's like boss battles to be bad. They're like bullet sponge enemies. Yeah, it's not that great. You can't, you can't even lose if you try. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. Are you talking about that one game where it's Daryl? Or... Uh, Norman Reedus? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, it was that game. I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I call him Daryl. That's just the walking Daryl. Daryl! Norman Reedus, yeah. Cool! Cool world! I want to be reborn as a... as a southern man. Very intelligent southern man because there aren't a lot of those. <laughs> I think I told you about oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that guy. Yeah. Was he like an Uber driver? I had an Uber driver who was like that. No, and yes. He made a lot of videos on Troy. Yeah. Uh, he like oh, was he, that, was he that fucking asshole who was like yeah. talking about the girl suicide and shit? Yeah, yeah oh, that guy. Oh, fuck that guy, dog. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Uh, I mean, I, I saw one of his videos where he's like talking about like radiation. 
and yeah, like the Wi-Fi. Like yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Like, <laughs> he's like, "You're microwaving our children." <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was kind of funny, but yeah, he's kind of a kind of a weird guy. Yeah. But, is that yeah. like an Alex Jones type? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, Chris, did the nerdies do something about the fourth informer? And he like told us, uh, he told us about it, or he kicked yeah. us off the website. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> like, he told us to focus on work, and then like the next day, it was banned from like all like, oh, yeah. <laughs> all like computers. Dang. How did we ever find it though? I have no idea. I think what happened was like, okay, we were trying to find a dude for like our project, yeah, right? Yeah. And then we just had like he was. We found like an article on him where he, where the dude was like roasting him <laughs> or something. I don't know. I, like, but yeah, that's like probably the max I remember from it. Yeah, it's like something similar to that. Dude, I was, I was in a, I was getting a lift. I was on a lift with this crazy old white man. Oh, yeah. In Arizona, this was in Arizona. We were going somewhere pretty far, so we, so we just started talking, right? And he started. I started like getting kind of philosophical, I guess, about like, well, that's just life, I guess, and that's just life. And like, we were talking about work and shit. And then he starts going off about, like, well, yeah, but you know about like the, the human party or like the human party or whatever. And like, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's like, yeah, dude, we're actually like not, um, like this is just like a simulation. And like, once we die, our real bodies, like we're actually, we don't have penises. In real life, like genitals in real life. What? And, and we're actually like in like this sort of matrix thing where like they upload you into like your memories, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, uh -huh. and they just put you back in there. And then once you die, you get to like transform and reach a higher state if you reach that state in your in your memories. And then you fucking, I don't, I don't even fucking know, but that dude was just spitting some facts. And I was like, I just played along with it, you know? I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, what? You reincarnated? Yeah, bro. And then like, yeah, and then, I don't know, it's just one of the weirdest conversations I've ever had, you know? Fucking, that made me very scared. I was very scared that day. <laughs> I was in the car with that man. He was a bad driver, too. What if dinosaurs were still real, man? There'd be a Tyrannosaur, like, right there. Well, I mean, we would be all dead, technically. I mean, I feel like... I don't know, We because we rose to the top for a reason, right? Yeah, it was like... Yeah, but like... Oh, well, I mean... Okay, I feel like if dinosaurs were here today, they would be a lot more tame. Mm. I feel like they'd just all be hunted. Yeah. They would be, yeah. They, like, near extinction. It'd be yeah. like, because, like, hunters, like, in the Stone Ages, they hunted, like, mammoths and shit, right? Yeah. And, like, fucking like saber two tigers and shit so it'd be kind of like that it'd be like they would just be fighting giant lizards and you know we'd win some we'd lose some you know like a bunch of people get eaten you know sometimes like you know they take down a t-rex and you know they, that's over with so it's like maybe it would have just been like that and then eventually like the humans would come together and they would create civilization and then dinosaurs wouldn't be a factor you know? i feel like it'd still play out the same way even when dinosaurs just well, be like fighting a bunch of big, bigger lizards. Well, I feel like it would still be a factor. Just, it would be a lot less of a like, risk. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like more people would want to live in cities rather than um, in the woods. suburbs. Yeah. Or like sub yeah, the woods. Yeah. If there were dinosaurs. Because like... If you live in like an apartment and like a velociraptor came, broke into your building, <laughs> you'll probably hear somebody else scream instead of somebody else scree hearing you scream yeah. for help. Yeah. Also, I've heard rumors where people like scientists like know have like begun like testing on like how to like make like not like make but like bring back dinosaurs. dinosaurs they're doing this like the woolly mammoth right mm -hmm. where they're using like modern like elephants to like you know like yeah. basically put their genes back into like the system i feel like that's not that far away it's not that far away i feel like i feel like this future is going to really change like in the next 20 30 years 
like shit's gonna really pop off. All this shit's happening in 2020. All this shit. Like, who knows what will happen like, yeah. in the next then, five years? And then suddenly there's like a like surge of like dinosaur, dinosaur like revolution, <laughs> and like a bunch of people are getting slaughtered by like. <laughs> they have like Ian. machine guns on their like like <laughs> fucking limbs and shit. <laughs> Laser eyes. Yeah, they know how to operate that shit. You know that question, like, where do you see yourself in five years? Mm -hmm. So, like, like, basically, us in 2015. Mm. Like, imagine asking that to us in 2015. But then, in reality, five years from then, it'll just be us here, like, 2020, all this shit happening. Yeah. We should do, like, a meetup here, five years from now. Maybe. So that we can officially say, like, five years from now, we see ourselves right here on this very spot. <laughs> that was, that was. 2025. Holy shit. We'll be. Black Ops 2, 2020. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait. Very oh, yeah, yeah. Time. Nuketown. Yeah, we'll yeah. be like 24, 23 years old, right? Yeah. yeah. 20, 24, right? Yeah. 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 Well, I guess it depends what month it is. But yeah, 24 on average. Well, as, as the year really goes I'll by. Be Actually, yeah, if it's like, yeah, if it's June, then two of us will be 24, but then after July, five out of six of us will be 24, so. <laughs> Still young as shit. Yeah, 24. My sister right now is 23, so, so we basically my sister's age. We would be out of college, right? Right, yeah. We'd be either just, or we'll probably be looking yeah. for a bachelor's degree. Yeah. Or, yeah, master's or some shit. Oh, uh, yeah, master's. Well, I'm sad that I can't even get considered for one now. Just Why? do it at a different school. Because I, like, I said, I took, like, three credit, no credits. Oh, okay. And they were just like, yeah, if you have credit, no credit, you have a chance of, like, not getting Drinking water. You almost drink a liter and a half of. of it's important to drink a lot of. Water. It's important to drink a lot of water every day. Yeah. <laughs> Got another one in my backpack. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Make sure you use the restroom before the the restrooms close. Yeah. Or just pee on the grass, you know. Like that dog. He marked his territory. I marked my territory right there. I guess so. Do pee in a ball again? Yeah. We got, we got, we got three bottles right I there. remember in junior high, in the, during PT, we were on the track, we were running laps, right? Like, so it's like, I went behind the building, like, because you know how there's a track and there's like a building right there? There's a building right there. Wait, you know, what? What's the name of the junior high? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there was a track, and then across the track, it was just a street, and then like, the other side, and then on the other side, there was a field. And there was like a building, so I went behind the building, I just fucking I was pretty fun. I did a lot of stupid shit in junior high. That was pretty lit. That's the last time the crew was all together. And in some respects, the first time. Because we didn't see Paul before that. We didn't see... Uh, <laughs> Wally. We didn't see Jalon. I think junior high was the mo when we had the most members. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone was joining at that point. It was like Melvin and Evan and Skyler, and everyone was like part of the crew. Well, somewhere. I don't think Melvin. I don't think Melvin was. But I don't yeah. think Melvin. Was. Skyler, yeah. Skyler, Jalen, Raphael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adam. Yeah, those were good times. Everyone just got along and shit. <laughs> nah, dude. I don't think we had that much drama other than the William thing. Yeah. Well, William and... Yeah, and the one we're dealing with right now. <laughs> the one that we're like, potentially, we might one day deal with. Yeah. Um. Wait, what does that mean? Okay. Oh. Because like, technically he hasn't confronted us about it yet. But 
we haven't been confronted yet about whatever's going on. So there's no drama. But I just wish the was there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it can't be our fault, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. it could be, but it can't I don't be. Think I think he's just moved on. Is this your jacket? That's yeah, his Christopher's jacket. I think VR is the future. I think that if you're gonna say, fuck this life, you know? Like, because, man, I think like, we play a lot of video games because it takes us away from our reality, our reality, right? Yeah. It's like our life. Like we feel, we feel better and stronger, or wherever we go, and whenever we play games and stuff. So it's like VR is like the ultimate representation. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does man ultimately want to be? Well, man wants to be God. Well, VR, if you just place into a a virtual world where everything seems realistic and you get to it's perfectly like this and it's just but everything's like you know a construct like some black ops 3 shit then it'd be like you know like I think I'd have a hard time passing that up you like damn well kind of cool you know I get to do whatever the fuck I want I get to live the life I want but I feel like living the life of a god would be boring like, mm, if you had the power to do something. anything, you would just get bored of that quickly. Mm. So I guess, like, the, what would limit you would be your creativity. Yeah. Who would you talk to? Who would I talk to? Yeah, if, I was like, if I was a god? In a, in a VR setting, you know? Oh, well, I would... It would be like a, like a world, you know? So there would be people there. There would be, like, interesting AI and shit. Would you create your own people? Maybe, if that was an option. Smoke some with your dog. How much money? Andrew Bear, how much money would you have to pay to hit this right now? <laughs> right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say about a thousand dollars. A thousand? Whoa! Okay. What about you, Chris? I think, yo. Know, so screw me up medically, I would say no. Mm. No, okay. Okay. Only because I'd have to drive after this. Mm. And it's like pretty risky. Even though it's like, oh, um, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. three minutes away, but it's so I, pretty risky. I have a problem driving when I'm high. Yeah. <laughs> or what's it driving? I don't know. Is it like a different term? It's like driving while intoxicated or something? Same, same thing. Oh, yeah, okay. DUI, right? Yeah. yeah. Or I know there's a DWI. Right? Wow. Driving with. Maybe it's different for each state. That's what's fucked up. All these oh, states yeah, yeah, have like yeah. different, different yeah, codes yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like each state has different like speed laws. Like in like like New York, I'm pretty sure you have to follow the um what's it the speed limit. But in California. You can go 10 over, and that's, like, the yeah. technical speed limit. Right. My price would probably be, like, 300. Don't make it too low. I got some money in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, I would say, like, 300 bucks. Yeah. Man, that's a bullshit. I gotta pay you guys to fucking... Experience the fucking joy of a lifetime. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, wasn't like Cuphead 2 announced or something? Yes. Yeah. But it seems to come out sometime this year. I don't know why. I could probably get Cuphead for the Switch. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We didn't get to finish the Cuphead. Yeah, too. that's true. We we played it on Paul's or oh no, uh, I guess. PC. Yeah, Paul's PC, right? Yeah. say there was a sleepover. Right, is there, there going to be a sleepover? Mm. I don't know, my dad, I could, I think, I think my house is off the table, but I think the best I could do is probably like get an Airbnb for a night or something. Oh, that's yeah. kind of the expensive yeah. side. Unless you all like pitch in. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. It's, uh, I've, I've, I've done one before for a rager with my football friends. Yeah. It was about 300, 200. 
So it's like, you know, I, I could just be like for my birthday because I didn't get a birthday present, you know. But yeah, you know, we were supposed to have this birthday meetup, you know, but shit changed. So, you know, can you guys just lend me or even out of my own pocket, you know, can I, can I just, you know, do this shit for a night? I mean, my birthday's in a month and nine days. Nah. So we'll see if, uh, I mean, if, if I have a quarantine birthday or not. Ooh, I think, I think I might actually. Like, yeah, we probably will. Do you think everyone, like, every, like, do you think Chris is even gonna have a quarantine birthday? I might, like, awesome. my mom, like, there's been a surge of COVID patients in her hospital. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Just I don't know why they reopened, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. yeah. No, Trump, like, it's mainly because Trump. Trump. ASU president said some dumbass shit. Like, I'm trying to be as unpolitical as I can be, but Trump is just so stupid. <laughs> right. Yeah, he is. Oh, right, 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 right. Announcement. Uh, President Michael Crow announces effective immediately that all ASU students, employees, and visitors are required to wear face coverings while on campus. For fall? Yeah, for fall. So you're are, going you going gonna, are you going to go to ASU? Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're telling us to come back. What? Oh, wow. yeah. oh shit, Crazy. dude. They, tell, they, they told us from the start. Like, it was one of the first universities where our president was just like, yeah, I'll see you in the fall. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, he's wow. fucking telling us to come back. So oh, I was wow. like, yeah. Like, that's so risky, especially if you have, like, people out, from out of wow. the country. Wow. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have, like, restrictions on classroom size and everything. Maybe. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, he, just, he was just wilding out. So I was like, damn, this dude is crazy. <laughs> so Slugs will be back in Arizona in the fall? Yeah. Unless, I mean, there is a scenario where after this COVID shit starts reopening in the next two months, it start, if it starts getting worse and worse, because I know Arizona is getting worse and worse uh, in terms it, of like... It's going to definitely get worse and worse, yeah. especially with everyone protesting all together. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Uh, there's a scenario where all that shit happens and he's just like, nah, stay in California or whatever. Stay where you are. But yeah. I don't know if that's going to happen. I might have to go back. Yeah, all Cal States are fall online. Yeah. Um, UCI is fall online. I don't know about JC though. So for here, yeah. it is online? Okay. Yeah. So we're all going to be home. I guess Slugs will be back in ASU. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to see Slugs. I mean, we could Zoom now. call you, dude. I guess, yeah. Did you guys just... Do you call me? I'm studying for finals. You guys are like fucking <laughs> in a, in a, in Michael's house, just fucking playing Smash, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> dang, that dog looks like the ape clown. Looks like a what? The ape clown. Come to ASU. I'm gonna take a trip to ASU. I'll show you around. <laughs> show you guys around. I don't want to melt my face off, so. Oh, it's true. It'll be it, like it actually gets pretty cold in the winter time not gonna lie it's not that hot in the summertime though it it is like <laughs> living in satan's dick hole like, it's, it's pretty bad That's it. it's pretty bad <laughs> like you feel like the shit on your back is like melting like oh really it's been bad because my first day when i so i went to like a camp before yeah. i you know actually started attending so like i left home i went to the camp and i had fucked up time actually I fucking hated it but anyway so I, we come back on Greyhound buses and I get off with all my luggage and shit right cause I gotta take all my shit to my dorm and um I get lost so I go in the completely opposite direction of my dorm and I walk for about 20-25 minutes and it's hot as shit and it's getting late and I finally figure out where my dorm is and I realize I've been walking in the opposite direction the whole time so I was like fuck and then by the time I got back to my dorm like I felt like Everything just melted and all of this, like, oh, shit. It's bad if you stay out there for too long. Like, I got sunburned pretty bad. Mm. Wow. I think that I have, I'm, I have a jacket with me whenever I walk. And that's my strategy to get, to not getting sunburned. Yeah. It's just to cover your entire body. It's like really loose clothing. Like, Clothing that's not too thick. 
Do you, do you know what disappointed me? Hmm? Like, did, did you see that? Uh, um, um, fuck, what was it? That death loop game? Oh, yeah. The death loop game? Do you, do you think that's going to be okay? I feel like that would be like a story based game. Like, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought too. Like, seems like most of that gameplay. Yeah. So. I don't know. And then there's a. There's that game that uh, Ember Labs directed, I forgot what it's called, but it was like that fucking, uh, like, Kino or whatever? Yeah, it was something like, like that. They had that, that, that Japanese guy from Godzilla doing the, the voiceover on there. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was, I thought, I thought, I thought it looked really good, but then I saw the gameplay and I was just like, oh, I, just, I don't know. Yeah, I, just, I, was like, I was like, fuck, too, because, like, the studio that made it, they actually make, like, really cool animations, like, on YouTube. So like I thought I recognized the art instantly and I was like, oh fuck, they're making a game, but then I saw the gameplay and I was like shit. Trying to escape the sun. Here comes the sun. Andrew Burr, I'm gonna do drugs in Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you have like like a like a can you have like a a dick grill? <laughs> like, like a dick grill like that's what rappers do now they don't have like a mouth grill they have a dick grill do they really no I mean like in oh, cyberpunk oh, oh. <laughs> wait Ugh. oh no the sun yeah you know where you plate your teeth with the gold and shit oh <laughs> <laughs> damn did you guys see that new Mortal Kombat expansion dude I yeah. watched the story uh. oh yeah it's like a um, friendship or something Oh, yeah. oh, the friendships, yeah. Well, that shit was that shit. I, I watched them all. That shit was pretty cool. Dude, my favorite one is either um, Jack mm-hmm. or Sub Zero. Ah, I really like Robocop. That shit was pretty sick. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> With the ice, the chain on, yeah. bro. That shit was crazy. Angie Bird, are you dating anyone? I just had to make sure because. <laughs> We got some liars in the well, not liars, but we got some, some keep the truth away from us in, in in the crew, you know. So I mean, what do you mean? What? No, I just like I have to make sure because I never would have guessed that you were dating someone. Uh, oh. <laughs> I just had to make sure. Uh, I mean, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hi. All right. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> They're like slapping me <laughs> with this tail. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Hello. You want to go there? Yeah. Oh, I'm still slapping me with the tail. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We've had a, a bunch of guests in this podcast today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of guests. Yeah. I was listening to this podcast. They were describing about how, like, this whole quarantine shit, and then they focused, like, specifically on relationships. And they were like, I would feel so bad for someone who, like, started dating you know like like before quarantine like a couple of weeks and then now this shit is all like fucked up so they don't know where they're at and I was like damn I feel that wow. uh, I mean, I've I've known this person you know, since December mm-hmm. and we started dating at the end of the year mm-hmm. so so it really was like a couple of weeks ago and I told you guys I think I I told Chris first in March hmm. no no you told me in April April okay so I guess yeah that wasn't too much time I guess you know like I kind of like is drool I think there's some drool on my phone <laughs> but um I think oh, it's no, like no no you did tell me in March but I think I just wanted to tell you guys like in person like one to one but yeah so and I was like I was like in college too so now that I'm back here, like I was able to tell you guys, um, I told Manir last, I think, well, second to last, um, or the last person I told was Manir, and that was like, that was like a whole week ago. Uh, 
think that was a murder. That was a murder. Yeah, I've yet to tell Paul, but we have not seen Paul since the uh, gift thing. Yeah. So. Wonder if this. Wonder if it's even getting my voice, but yeah. Thanks. Also, should we move? Cause yeah, I the am, sun. <laughs> the I sun is starting to cook warm. us. Shall we relocate? Like the Mongols? Do you want to go over there, or do you want to just move, like a couple, couple feet? We can move over there because it's technically a lot more shade. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And it's close to Angie's car. 